125 years that we just, every year we try to become better. At the end of the day, for me personally, being a chief is being a chief. It doesn't matter if you were doing it 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, being a chief is being a chief. And ever since 1893, that's been a thing in the Navy and I think a pretty significant thing. For me, history and heritage is a lot. And we talk about how those that paved the way for us, we would not be here today without them. It signifies the weight of our responsibility to the Navy. And I think of it as we're out in the middle of the ocean, we drop anchor, we, that's our stability. And the chief is the same exact thing. And I think that the anchor represents the mess. The links to that anchor is everything we share together as chiefs. So my favorite part of the creed, and it's, it's a very long creed, right? It's significantly longer than the Sailor's Creed. Um, is that our, our privileges and responsibilities cannot be found in file or by reference by number. It's how much your life will change and that more is going to be demanded of you, not because you're an E7, but because you're a Chief Petty Officer. And that couldn't be more true than the same day that you put those anchors. And those, that same day that you put those anchors, you might have a sailor coming up to you and say, Chief, I need your help. If being a chief was easy, then everybody would do it. What's the point? Being a chief is supposed to be challenging, and that challenge is supposed to be hard, and that challenge is supposed to make you work harder, because in the end, when you've completed that challenge, it's gonna strengthen you, it's gonna make you smarter, it's gonna make you a better chief for you, your command, and your best.